Hi, my name is Anne, and this was a solo jazz class at the 920 Special. Um, this was about conversational solo jazz, this whole month is, and this uh, week we talked about having complete thoughts, and the first way we did that was through repetition. And uh, not only did we use the same jazz step, but we started from small to big or from big to small. So for example, Susie Q's, you can start really tiny, five, six, seven, eight, and the second eight, maybe you get bigger. The third eight, you get really wild. And the last eight, you go crazy and have the biggest Susie Q's ever. You can do the same, but reverse. You can start with the hugest Charleston, and then kind of smaller, and then, oh, hey, kind of cool, and then little Charleston mm -mm -mm, into something else. We did that in a circle, learning each other's jazz steps, making them different sizes. And then we used the same principle you use in the Shim Sham, three of something and one of something else. So you've got your jazz step, you do it a second time, people recognize a third time, they're like, yeah, doing it with you in, your, in their mind, and then you have some kind of break. <laughs> then we took that one step further. We said, you do it the first time, and they see it. And second time, they recognize it. Third time, give them a little surprise. Modify it a little bit. For example, slow it down, or put a break in there. And then still do your break to clear the air and do something that contrasts. So for example, again, those Suzy Q's. You do the first Suzy Q, first eight. Oh, they understand it. You do the second eight. They get it. OK, now third eight, they're expecting the same thing. Here's where you do ha, who, ha, who, and then your break. Right? Uh, we did that with Charleston. First Charleston, totally normal. Second Charleston, see what I'm doing here? Yeah, third Charleston, whoa, slow motion. Shoot, boop, boop, ha, didi, da da. So transform that third one a little bit and add the element of surprise. The last thing we did in anticipation of next week was using steps to travel a little bit, to go into a jam, to get out of a, a competition. You need to be able to travel across the floor. You can even measure these. So we did something like TikToks, where like you start here and you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got to here. Okay, well, let's see what happens if I modify it. I'm going to start in the same place. I'm going to keep my feet together. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can get almost twice as far using the feet together as when I'd use my feet apart. So this is handy if you want to travel, as I said, into a jam, but also if you're partner dancing and you're doing side passes, things like this, and you want to travel from point A to point B, it's really useful to know that this will travel a lot more than something like camel walks, and that something like this will really zoom you across the floor. So as you're practicing, see how much mileage you can get with each jazz step. Thanks, everyone.